The base that I built this wipe was possibly one of my favorite builds of all time. On the edge of a cliff, tucked away out of sight and perfectly aligned with the ground floor at the top to have the door sit level with the top of the cliff. With a cool courtyard-like compound out the front and electricity running through the entire thing. But not everyone seemed to like it as much as I did. And eventually, they came to prove it. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe. 90% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is crazy. And before we get into it, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Rust Clash is an online gambling website. There's a huge variety of cases that you can choose to open and the items have a percentage of what you can get. You're also able to 1v1 people in case battles with whoever gains the most money wins. As well as this, there's a rain feature which gives away $20,000 every week. There are daily and weekly leaderboard rewards. The link's in the description to go check it out. New wipe, new wipe. It's uh, not fresh wipe, like I haven't, I haven't jumped on in the first minutes like I usually do. But I do have a plan for the wipe. I'm going to try and build like a cliff, like a cool different kind of base just on the edge of a cliff or something like that. Okay, we made it to Bandit, which is good. I might actually farm trees with my rock while I'm here and then get a bow. All right, we've got clothes, so we can actually go into the snow now, which is where we're heading now. Really hope that this spot I want to build is not locked off by someone else's building. We've got train yard right next to where we're building, which has a train tunnel's entrance. And then uh, there's plenty of roads and stuff around here. So, okay, let's hit this node. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Oh, come here. No, don't run away. He must be low if he's running. Yep. All right, that's, the, that's right there. That's where I want to build. Like on that little flat spot right there, I reckon. Little cliff base. I've never done a cliff base before. Real quick, while I'm farming to get my base up, I just want to let you guys know that I do weekly Rust skin giveaways in my Discord, which are free to join. So make sure to click the link in the description and get involved in those. Nice, we've got a base down. After establishing the start of what would become one of the coolest bases I've ever built, I headed over to the train yard to try and get some scrap for a level one workbench. Actually, really easy to do if you use that spot. Fuck, the springs are good. Oh my god, the springs are really good. Meal crate. Come on, SMG. Okay. Nice, dude. After I got my level one down, I did another train yard run and found a python. I figured this would be really useful for the train tunnels, so I took it home, repaired it, and then headed for the entrance. Oh, fuck me. So, yeah, the python didn't last long. Moving on, though. I did a run along the road to gather some more scrap. I had already had most of the blueprints on this server, so all I really needed to do was farm scrap for the workbenches. He's got a nail gun. Let's recycle. Sorry, bro. Had to be done. The cloth is very good. We need to get home. I did a few of these scrap runs and also one to the lighthouse nearby to try and find a green card. Unfortunately, the one there had already been looted. So I headed to the nearest gas station to try my luck there. However, for some reason, every man and his dog seem to have the exact same idea. Hold up. Oh, that's weird. Jesus, God. Jesus.
Why is there so many fucking people? Did you like my music? Music makes me lose control. Music makes me. <laughs> Hello, please. I'm white. <laughs> oh. Why is there so many people here, dude? What the hell? Someone just died of a landmine. Let's get out of here. No green card, but a lot of randomness. That's for sure. Now there's going to be a pig after me. Oh, dude, come on. What is happening, bro? What the hell? Why is even M9? After that sequence of events, I crafted a level two and made a Tommy. Then I killed this guy and this guy, then died to this guy and lost 350 scrap. So without any more SMG bodies, I crafted a Python and headed for the train tunnels where, well, you'll see. I'm gonna take this real slow here so I can make sure I don't die when I clear this out. I've got like one middle section to clear and then like a couple of stops in the way. One being here, for instance. Hey, go on, bro. I'm just gonna mind my own business and continue this way. No, thank you, ladies. Let's just keep going back to the fucking train yard. <laughs> not this again, dude. Not this again. Oh my god, it's a literal replay. I I've just got to do what I did last time. They're still chasing. They might not even see me turn left at this T intersection that I'm coming up on. Okay, the light's gone. They probably just turned it off. Clean. Clean, bro. Clean. Get me out of here. Oh, dude. I probably didn't need to do it that time. But, you know, I had to do it to him. I had to break some ankles. A little bit of a goosey in there. I got home from this run and began farming to upgrade the base a little bit more. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Hello, man. Oh, well, that so solved my wood problem that I was having. Guess I'm not farming wood. Okay. Jesus Christ. It's always the minor hats, bro. It's always the minor hats. What is this game and people with minor hats and just running around with a lot of shit on them and no weapon? I built onto the base a bit more and did several more scrap runs before being able to place down a level three workbench. I then did more base upgrades, and what I love most about this base is the fact that the door ended up perfectly aligning with the level of the ground at the top of the cliff. Dude, that's so sick that it's like flat. It's literally flat right here. It looks so funny, but then you look down and it's like down the whole way. I'm going to put one more level up where there's going to be windows and shit, and then that's going to be it. I was pretty much done for the night, but before I hopped off, I threw a supply signal that I'd found in a crate earlier that day. It's going to be kind of hard to defend this airdrop because I don't really have a roof. I'm not going to be able to see people coming either. There's SARS. Hopefully they don't come for this. 
They're coming for it. I see them. Oh, no chance, bro. Fucking hell, it wasn't even that good, I'm not gonna lie. GG. <laughs> that that oh, was a perfect real. placement. <laughs> nice. Well, good luck. Mwah. Have a good one. You I'm sorry, I had to try. <laughs> Yeah, I know I whiffed there, all right? But it is what it is. I needed a bit more wood before I hopped off and someone was waiting for me as I left the base. Oh my God. I was so not ready for that. Holy shit. Hex, that's the same person, dude. That's the same chick. Oh, I mean, I guess that makes up for the whiff when I tried to kill her on the way out. We started day two by, of course, heading for the train tunnels. However, before I got down to the station, I found a few dead bodies with some loot on them, including a green card and a blue card. I figured the tunnels would likely be looted, so I headed back up with the valuable cards. Then I heard someone cutting down trees outside. Okay, there's someone outside. Okay, he probably lives out there. That's not good. Here we go. Holy shit, maybe. Oh my god, the scrap! Uh, bro. I literally saw him just as he went down behind the cliff. After depoting the scrap and other resources, I took my newly acquired blue and green card to the train yard to try and find some SMG bodies. I had found literally one SMG body so far this wipe, and it was used on a Thompson that I'd lost almost straight away. And my luck wasn't going to get much better anytime soon. Uh-oh, here we go, 2v1. Never, never winning that, bro. Maybe if I hit some shots, I could, but, you know. I did a train tunnels run and, of course, got zero SMG bodies. Even recycled a custom that I found for the 50-50 chance that it'd give me a body, but even that didn't yield what I wanted. I took my last green card and ran to the closest harbour and successfully acquired a new blue card. Then I attempted another puzzle run at the train yard. Please, game. Holy shit. Please. Yes! Oh my god, please give me home. It happened. It happened. Another one? Another one? I had gotten enough SMG bodies to last me for a little while, so I quickly headed home. However, you may notice that I didn't have a red card from that run. Yeah, rookie error. I had a full inventory when I picked up the card, so obviously it dropped out, but it didn't really matter anyway. I crafted an MP5, then noticed that a locked crate had landed at the train yard, so I went back to go and get it. Oh, scientists aren't cleared. Has it been started? I swear I heard people clearing out scientists or fighting here before. The computer is there. It has been started. I think I'm better off hooking around. If the computer's on... I didn't down him? How much health has this guy got? F 
far out. That was a lot easier than I made it. Four minutes, 55. Okay. All right, let's just watch for anyone uh, coming to take our crate that's rightfully ours. Here we go. Speak of the devil. This guy's creeping up like I don't even know he's here. <laughs> Swear I just said another guy. Oh, that's definitely another guy. Crate's probably open now. Let's go. Trash crate, honestly, but whatever. I got the crate loot home and went for a farm. Then heard something pretty interesting while I was smacking some nodes. Oh, uh, honestly, let's do it. Honestly, let's do it. Let's go to that. Let's go to that raid. Going nighttime actually helped me here. I think that's the base that is the raiders. Where is the base getting raided? Is it that windmill? It might be that windmill. Oh shit. Yeah, right here, right here. I don't want to shoot that. Oh, Scrappy's blown up. Shit. There's got to be more than two. Was it just a duo raiding? Maybe it was just a duo. Unless there's people still in there. People still there. That might be base owners or that might be raiders. I don't know. Shit. Fucking guns, dude. Where are the guns at, bro? Where are the guns? Bro, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. That's worth for me. That's worth for me. I'm done. I'm out. Although I didn't get all the guns from the people that I killed, I still profited, which I was happy with. From here, I did quite a bit of farming to build the base up with the shooting floor, and also ran to the bandit camp with some scrap to buy a minicopter. I also did some cool electricity stuff, including a couple heaters and some automatic lights that turn on while it's nighttime. Then I did a trip to the outpost on my minicopter and converted 18k stone into wood, which would end up being enough to last me to the end of the wipe. With this wood, I also made some high external walls and created a small compound out the front with some large furnaces and a turret overlooking it. I then got an uncontested Chinook crate from the train yard again and continued working on the base. But as I was upgrading my base, a base just over the hill had been pretty steadily built up and was definitely now a threat. Far out, these guys have expanded. They got compound now as well, shit. They have expanded heaps, dude. Oh my god. That two by two's there as well, they've expanded. I'm pretty sure he's friendly with these guys, so that's not good. Oh, shit. Okay. 
I'm actually, I'd be happy to be friendly with these guys. I might honestly just risk this kit to go talk to them. How you going, dude? How are you, my brother? Not bad. How you been? Yeah, all right, bro. I look away for two seconds and you've got a compound. <laughs> yeah, bro. You live close? Yeah, I live, um, you know, the like cliff side base over there. Just like literally just over the hill, bro. With a little compound. Oh, the one with the, with the compound? With yeah, the, just the yeah. solo base, bro. I'm on, I'm on my own, so. So what, you just solo? Yeah, just solo, just, you know, grinding away. Are you guys, what are you guys, how deep? Uh, we're, we're a trio, we're a trio, mostly duo, but we've got a couple mates that we just met that we're just neutral with that are in the team, but I don't know how deep they are, but, but there's three of them at the moment. Yeah, fair enough. All right, I was just coming over to chat anyway. I mean, I wasn't planning on coming over to chat, but you're on the roof anyway, so. I'm happy to be friendly with you guys, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. We can be friendly. You're a solo, bro. Yeah, we won't fuck with you, bro. It's all right, bro. Yeah, I was a bit scared you might offline me tonight or something. So I uh, might come over and no, chat. No, no, no. You're good. You're good, bro. Trust. I'll catch you boys later. Have fun. All right. See you, my brother. So I had made some friends with these guys, which was ideal considering I was hopping off for the night pretty soon. I did a bit of farming while the server was quiet before hopping off, ready to do some raids on day three. That is the fattest farm run I've ever done. We didn't get offlined, so I jumped in the minicopter and flew around for a bit trying to find a base to raid. Then I stumbled across what seemed to be a potential raid target. We could raid the iceberg. Oh my god, he's armored it. This guy was running around with a bow yesterday when I saw him. He's literally armored it, bro. Maybe we could raid this. I don't know if he's online, but I'm going to land on the roof. He has garage doors. This could be a very worthwhile raid if he's upgraded so much of it to armored. It's pretty easy to defend because it's out in the middle of nowhere on the ice... This could be perfect. See, this is sheet metal door. Oh, maybe I blow through this corner into the bottom of the two by two. It's so weird because this is foundation and then there's lower foundations. It's because it's on this angle. And then these are even higher foundations. So at the back, it's only one high. This is one and a half. And then this is one. Oh, dude, I reckon I hit doors first. Doors with X blow and rocket. And then I can probably, if I get through that and that, it takes me into the... Front left one of the two by two, and then just I can just pummel in the bottom corner and open it up with like 16 rockets if I need to. I decided to go through the first couple of doors first, then I would reassess from there. So I flew home, did a bit of smelting and preparing, discovered that overnight someone had pickaxed out the metal overhang that my turret was on, and then flew back and threw down a small ray base before starting to blow in. Now, do I go doors or do I go... Because it might be a bunker at the back, so I might be better off just blowing through that. I think I just eight rocket that, right? I'll eight rocket that and that will blow up in the process and then I'll suss it from there. I headed back home and continued smelting and crafting for the rest of the raid. But while I was preparing, I was interrupted. Well, this is a one-way ticket to pissing off your neighbors. You ready? Oh, this is this guy that lives right here. What's up? You shot me, mate. Hey, you killed me, bro. Yeah. I I'm mean, your it's... neighbor, mate. Oh, are you from that base? Yeah, like, like, well, why, bro? Like, at least can what I get mean... my shit back? What do you mean, why? Why would I not shoot you? All right, bro, you're going to regret this. How, how am I supposed to know it's you, bro? <laughs> All right, boys. How am I supposed to know it's you? Like... Am I just supposed to not shoot anyone? Nah, it's all good, it's all good, but can I get my shit back? Can what do you I want? Get my shit back at least. All my stuff that I had on me. I'm on the big base. We're the big base and the other the base The guys I talked there. to yesterday. Pretty much your neighbors, mate. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Ah, we're getting raided! <laughs> I have to do this raid before I get raided, bro. Hey, John, brother. Yo, what's up? John, I come in peace. Okay. I peace. How are you? I'm friends with uh, Bobby B. You know the old Bobby B? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm his teammate. I just got a quick question for you. Have you What's got up? any cloth by any chance? Fuck like, all. We live in the snow, any bro. Bit of cloth? Yeah, that's so fucking. It's annoying, eh? Nothing. Yeah, no, I was just asking because we're chilling and we want to go fuck some up with some rocks. Oh, yeah. Now, 
there are ways in Rust to basically guarantee that you'll get raided. This, this is one of them. Oh, I'm securing this raid, bro. I'm securing this raid. If they don't online me, it's going to be so annoying. But this is my last day anyway. So hopefully we can get this raid in before they fuck me up. But I think they're probably, uh, they're probably gearing up for it right now. We didn't offline you for a reason. Yeah. Now we're going to have to fucking come and put a hole in your base. Oh, I don't think you need to do that. We asked us not to offline you. We don't offline you. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to we offline me as a solo. You. We don't offline you. Yeah. Why would and you offline me now anyway? You do that. I'm gonna come and blow a hole. I'm blowing a hole in your base. I'm blowing a hole in your base. Okay. Well, you do that, but it was fucking stupid, wasn't it? That was really stupid. It was really that stupid, was really was not it? Clever of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was very not clever of you. Well, I mean, if you do it offline, you're a pussy. That's all I'm saying. No, we're coming. We're crafting rockets and we'll we'll come and put a hole in you. And then All you right. fucking log off because you're a little dog. Oh, I don't know about being a little See dog. You soon, you little rat cat. Free kits for a solo is free kits for a solo, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. I was coming to be a nice fella, right? I you mean... I chill with you yesterday and you do that, all right? No, you're fucked. You're you fucked, weren't, you you weren't really chill with me yesterday. I'll you talked to me once. The rest of the day you were killing me, you know? Yeah, yeah, we were chilling. Well, it doesn't matter now. After that, you've done yourself for mischief. Ah, oh, well, that's unfortunate. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, you've done yourself for mischief. Yeah, we will. Mm. I had started a war that I was almost certainly going to lose. Not only did they outnumber me five or six times over, I didn't have the greatest base to defend an online raid from, considering that the windows were practically on the ground floor. I set up a small base nearby and put a kit in there in case I was needing it to defend, but I was racing against the clock because I really wanted to get the raid that I was in the middle of done before they raided me. So I continued preparing. Then I heard some footsteps outside. Hello? Bit rude, not gonna lie, don't you think? Might be time, boys. Rest in peace, the raid. This is a bit of a priority. Please don't have a double door in here. Hey, Johnny Mo. I won't bore you with the shit talk, but they weren't raiding me. Yet. They basically threatened that they would be offlining me, and this went on for a good five minutes before the conversation was eventually interrupted. Yeah, hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're Calm down. You're a pussy. Calm down. There's definitely three of them. There was one in the compound and there was two on my roof. Oh, they're probably dead. Sound like an AK and none of them were rolling AK. Yeah, I'll probably try and go in the morning. They are fighting someone over there right now, so it's going to be kind of hard to take off on the roof with all the shit I've got, but... Ah... Uh, I think they got beaten to it! They are getting raided right now. They're getting raided right now. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're grabbing this shit, bro. Oh, shit. That missed. Raid base must be on this side because it seems like they must have been shooting at it. Oh, my God. That was nowhere near it, bro. Oh, no. They're missing, bro. They keep missing. That's a raider. That's the guy who came from MLRSing. Where did Heli just go? Oh, there he is. I want to get this guy. He's on his own. Yeah, yeah, let's get this AK kid. AK kid on his own. That's how. That's what we're here for. Whiff of the century, but we got him. Dude, where'd that heli? Where'd he park the heli? Yes, 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 yes. I'm 
coming back naked and just gonna fly it straight onto the roof. Dude, the, the shooting stopped, which makes me think that things are lost. The raid is lost, dude. Well, that's not good. That's their ally. I need to kill this guy on his roof. He's coming out. I don't want to give him an AK. I would send it with the AK because I probably won't use it, but I don't really want to give them the AK. Somehow, all simultaneously, they had been planning to raid me while I planned to raid someone else while they were being planned to be raided. And it all happened at pretty much the exact same point. They were unfortunately victorious in their raid defense, which was probably actually a good thing as it meant that they were still able to raid me. And they probably had more rockets than they previously anticipated. I was still pushing to get my raid done, so I finished getting ready and headed over to the iceberg. This guy's gonna be loaded. Let's keep going. Oh shit, I didn't even check here. Oh my god, bro. It's locked. Bruh, this guy's a labs runner. This guy is a labs runner and a half. There's an underwater labs right there. This guy just runs that all day, I'm sure. C4. Low grade, dude. Yes. So it was a pretty successful raid. It was going to be multiple trips to transfer all the loot back. So I loaded up with the first one and flew home. Good first run. Well, rip Heli. Hey, hey, Johnny. Hello. Been waiting for you guys. Hey, you've been waiting. Hey, move, move. Hi, right, boys. It's stop. Oh, no. How are you today, guys? It's such a beautiful day out. Like... You want to camp my building, bro? Yo, chill, bro. Chill, it's us. This is Monka, bro. Us. Stop, bro. What are you doing? We're in here, bro. He's got the cousins! Sorry, bro. Sorry. 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 Four. <laughs> no, bro. Are you kidding me? Stand up, stand up. Damn, I spawned in the wrong one. No, it's already going to shit, bro. Ah, oh, bro, I don't have a bag. The oh, the bed's already been blown into. Bag at the bottom's just got a 270 second bag timer. I messed that up so bad, bro. Sounds like they're in. He 
He's on top, he's on top. They got TC. Yeah. What? He fucking beamed me, bro. No, it's gone, dude. Dude, that rocket's destroyed me. I literally didn't even get the chance to defend that because of that rocket. There was still a lot of loot in my raid base over the water, but my cliff base was as good as gone. I can't hear him at all. Like, it's, it's all good. Like, you just standing there, like, looting. Like, you know, we couldn't place DC. We couldn't get everything, like, in that moment, you know? Which we Oh, my bad. He had that silhouette of me just then. <sighs> yeah, bro. Uh, gonna... okay. We're all like relatively like you guys have like over one k hours. Right? Yeah, the, my friends have like six k hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got, I, like, I've got a hundred. I, I probably, I've got a hundred and fourteen. I probably played the most, and I've only got six hundred hours. Yeah, see, they got sixteen. I've got a hundred and fourteen hours on this game, so I'm the newbie. Uh, yeah. Look, a loot right now because I'm gonna seal the thing in case John comes back. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, all yeah, good. All right. okay. Boys, get the charcoal. Look at the charcoal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that charcoal, brother. Fuck, cheers. Nothing, bro. There's nothing. Ooh. The final stand. <laughs> Bro, it's like it's like this just keeps coming back with guns, eh? Like there's a second base or some shit. He sealed it. I wonder if he sealed the front door. I don't think he can, unless he puts a door down. Here he comes. Meds, bro. He's inside, boys. He's inside. Fucking rush deck. It's not over till I say it's over, boys. <laughs> Can I shoot out the TC? Send it. Ladies first. I found the second base, boys. I found the second base. Bro, how the fuck did you let him get in, bro? That's what I, I thought it was one of you guys in here. Nah, nah, we left, bro. And then he just snuck up and DB'd the. Make them use it, boys! Make them use it! They're gonna have to earn it! Mate, everyone warned you, you dumb. Bro, they're acting like I didn't want this. Oh, dude, I need one of those tools. I needed one of those tools. That guy's gonna see me running back in. Wait, wait. Uh, I've got it. Wait, I've got it. Back, bro. Oh, yeah. Nah, my boy's gun. Hey, what's up? He's coming, you see, bro. Uh, don't jump boy. down. Don't jump down. Stay up there. We need a ladder. Dun, dun. He's up here. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing, bro? Just come back to cable. Oh my god! 
There's three of them there, bro. <laughs> I did not think they were going to be there. Bro, he's got their second base down by the beach. He's got their second base down by the beach. And that was the end of the coolest base I've ever built. Yeah, sure, it'd be nice if I'd put up a better fight, but we always wish we could have done better. I actually ended up using the tier 3 workbench from the raid I did and rebuilding not too far away to use the remaining 4 rockets with no expectations on the side of the smaller of their two bases. And although no loot and very little PvP came from this, it did incite them to raid the 2x1 that I had built which was down on the beach. There was literally nothing in here so I'll take that as a win. Actually, I'll take the entire situation as a win, because usually you'll meet people in Rust who are good sports and will have a civil conversation after a raid like this, especially when the raid is so heavily favoured to one side. But these guys, they were different. They hated me. They didn't want to hear a word out of me, and I feel like if a single person can piss off a group like this for not really doing that much, then that's a win in my eyes. Remember to like the video if you've come this far, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy this one too, where I walled in an entire map grid as a solo.